Parliament Square, Ramsey. Hawking's only just ahead of Mike. But Hawking looks down at Keppelgate. Is he in trouble? There goes Halward Alfred. Is Hawking's TT hoodoo striking again? With Halward on his tail and only two laps to go, almost any delay will cost him his lead. Off comes Gary's lap number on the scoreboard. He's completed four laps, but he's stopped at his pit again. And there goes Mike's number, and he's gone straight past. So Halewood leads. Oh boy, what a race. Mike's first at Quarterbridge. And now Gary gets away, but he's lost nearly a minute. There goes McIntyre. And look, Hocking's still unhappy at Waterbury. At Craig Nabar, Hayward leads by nearly two minutes. And in second place, it's McIntyre. Now three seconds ahead of Phyllis. But here's a sad picture. No number five. The Hocking's retired at the pits on the last lap. Tom Phillips is now in a brilliant third place. And Phil Reed's come up to fourth. This is Halewood at Ramsey Hairpin, one of the slowest points of the course. Compare his star with Phyllis. Here's Tom. Round the Craig for the last time sweeps Halewood with only three miles to go. And there's McIntyre. On they go, round Brandish and Hilbury, up from Nimona, round Signpost and Governor's Bridge, and on to the Grand Country Road. And Halewood wins. Nearly two minutes later, in comes McIntyre. And Phyllis finishes third. Up go the victor's laurels. And into the paddock come the finishers at the end of a truly magnificent race. For Mike, it's congratulations all round, especially from Rem Fowler and from his overjoyed father, Stan Halewood, and how well he deserves them for his created TT history. First to win three races in a week, and first to average over a hundred on a single. A wonderful show, Mike. Meanwhile, it's clear at the finish, but just look at this at the bungalow. Yes, it's the famous mountain mist, but thank goodness it's come down too late to spoil one of the greatest TTs of all time. <laughs>